Hey everyone, welcome back to Kingdom Lifestyle. My name is Krista. It is so good to be with you guys today. I have a pretty urgent word. Um, so last night, just like a little backstory. <clears throat> so let me go a little further back. We have had a lot of personal victory over this last week. A lot of things happened that set things back on the right course. Um, a lot of breakthrough and a lot of lights at the end of the tunnel for certain things that we've just been dealing with kind of as a family. And um, <clears throat> last night, yesterday was a big one. Like it was a big breakthrough day. And um, I went to sleep and I had the most horrific dreams. And it was a dream where <clears throat> I'm not gonna go into the details of it because it's it's personal and it's weird and it's not cool. But anyway, um, it was horrible. And but the the weird thing about it was was that I it was so vivid. I literally thought it was happening, and I woke up three times from it. One time when I woke up, I was like saying words, like I was so just traumatized in it. And each time I went back to sleep it went right back into that dream. And so I know <clears throat> that that dream was not of the Lord, even though it was so vivid. And usually in my vivid dreams, I always think it's, you know, those are usually like my God dreams. This was not it. And it was a thing where I was like, that I was being so attacked in my sleep where I was vulnerable. And I got, I was like, as soon as I get up, you know, I'm getting my Bible open. I'm going to go in the courts. I'm going to be praying. Like I'm going to cut off whatever this thing is that was coming at me so fiercely and attacking the things that I love the most in that dream. Like it was on such a deep personal level. It was so raw and gross. And it was just things that like should never even you know, enter my subconscious mind and they don't. And I spent the morning, you know, in prayer and reading and I was thinking about, you know, since then, like I still remember it, which is not like me um, unless it's like the Lord. And again, I know this one was not the Lord. This has the enemy's hands all over it. But the thing is, is it was meant to sear my mind into believing a certain thing. It was meant to be so damaging that it would undo every triumph we just had because it touched on every bit of it and went in the opposite spirit of everything, of all the breakthrough we just experienced. This dream came at it so hard in the opposite spirit, not, you know, in, in, the, in the demonic spirit and to crush the breakthrough, to come in behind it and crush that mindset and to crush all of the win that we've just had mentally. So it was a mind attack because as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. I believe that's what it is. But as a man thinks, so he is. And um, I may have just added the heart in, but as a man thinks, so he is. And that is a big thing. And I just felt like this was not just a word for me. This is absolutely a word for you guys because here's where the breakthrough came. came. Um, so I get in the word this morning and I open up my Bible and the first thing it comes to is Ephesians 6. And the first thing I see is the whole armor of God. And so um, that's Ephesians 6, 10. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in the power and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers, authorities of the unseen world. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth, the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the gospel of the... Put on the... I'm so sorry. Put, for the shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. 
Pray in the spirit at all times on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere and pray for me too. Ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's myster mysterious plan that the good news is for the Jews and Gentiles alike. I am in chains now and still preaching. Okay, so you know where I'm going with that. But <clears throat> whenever I went into prayer after that, I, I put on the full armor of God. And when I did that, I felt the Holy Spirit in a very big way. So somewhere in the battle, I either got a chink in my armor or didn't have it on. And that is where that was allowed to come in and to torment me in my sleep because I could feel, and I haven't put it on in a long time. I will be honest. It was just something that I hadn't been applying in my prayer time, hadn't really thought of it. And whenever God showed me that, I felt the Holy Spirit. I knew that I did not have it on. And, you know, I think with, through the battles, we can get damaged unto our armor. You know, I remember there was a time where one of my friends that's very prophetic said that they saw an arrow in the back of my neck, you know, and it was right above my armor. And they saw that, like it was right above where that, you know, that breastplate is and right before my helmet and there was an arrow sticking in and we removed it spiritually. And and so, you know, and it made me think of that. And so I just want to encourage everybody today to put on the full armor of God that you can resist the strategies of the devil against you um, and that you are able to stand firm. And it is so important to have that on right now. So many of us have been going through so many fierce battles and it's important to apply that every day. And that is what I'm gonna be doing myself because I learned a very hard lesson not doing it. And I'm so thankful to the Lord for revealing that to me and for showing me that and for being so gracious to answer my question as I asked it. Um, you know, and then in my prayer, I went, I came at that, that dream so hard and just canceled everything that could be connected with it. I felt the certain spirits that were connected to that dream. And, you know, I asked God to judge those spirits and to remove them from my life. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Um, you know, just use your discernment whenever you are shown these things. The enemy means it to destroy you, but you can, God will turn it for good. Be discerning in it and immediately be in prayer about it. Something else, you know, if you have your prayer language, make sure you're praying in tongues every day if you have that. Just when you're getting ready, when you're driving in the car, when you're cleaning your house, when you're, you know, at work, you know, always be praying in that language. And if you don't have it yet, I just pray that over you right now. I release the gifts of all of the spirits uh, of the spirit to be stirred up in you right now in the name of Jesus. And I just release that gift of tongues, your, your, your language, where it allows you to, to utter things that you don't even know about. And I know that whenever I am doing that consistently, I see so many things break through. I have so much peace um, because it is, you know, the spirit making intercession for us about things we have no idea are going on and that we don't, we don't know to pray about. And so be consistent in that. And that I know that that is so, so helpful. And sometimes we just get distracted. We get busy and it just kind of stops happening for us. And so I just encourage you to be doing that and picking up your armor, picking up your sword of the spirit, keeping your shield of faith, you know, and, and just really standing firm in that because um, yeah, the enemy wants to come to you in dreams. He wants to come into you whenever you are vulnerable and when your guard is down and when, and if you don't have your armor on and you are not prepared, that leaves you open to it. So then after that, I run into town and I was thinking about that dream and it was starting to have that effect that it was intended to have. And I immediately turned on one of my favorite worship songs. I had my hand raised. I do that in the car. I don't know about y'all, but it's worship up in here. And I was just singing it and praising the Lord and just worshiping and remembering and telling myself who I am in him. And that none of these things, all of those fiery arrows that the enemy was meaning to just break down everything that just got built up, you know, one, it's a sign of, you know, he must be very threatened by that. 
to come at you so hard. And it's not a badge of honor, but it's understanding why you're being attacked, why it's that area, why is it so fierce, and why does he always wanna keep you coming back to those same things? It's to keep you in bondage, it's to keep you down, it's to keep make you hide, it's to make you not, you know, be bold and come forward and stand out and be who God created you to be and to speak life into others, to speak into the situation, to uncover the things that are hidden in the darkness and shine the light on them, which is everything that we are called to do. And all of that is meant to dismantle you, to keep you from doing it. So if he can't do it through your finances, if he can't do it through your relationship, then he is going to come for your mind. And it is so important to have that helmet of salvation on it, covering your mind and covering your mind in prayer and covering your mind in the promises of God. I encourage you to get up before you scroll on social media, before you check your messages, before you check your email, open your Bible. Don't even open the app, open your Bible. Go and get some sunlight in your eyes and then open your Bible, get your cup of coffee, tea, whatever it is that you do and just spend time in the word, spend time with the Lord. Let him shine that light onto your path and let him make your way straight. But I just wanted to share this with you. This was not just for me. This is for the body of Christ. And I just encourage you to be strong. And when these things happen, just really seek into it. Find out why. Find out what that is and war in the opposite spirit against it and let God give you the understanding of what you need to do. Why were you left open like that and how you can correct that path and make it to where that's not happening anymore. I pray this blesses you. I know that it blessed me. God is moving. God is working and he is with you and he is for you. And I will talk to you guys soon.